Hi, my name is Ziad Fayad. I'm part of the Einstein Analytics product team. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to embed dashboards uh, on a, a Salesforce page. I'm going to use an account page just for simplicity. And basically what you need to have, of course, is a dashboard. Let's say I have this particular dashboard that I have designed. It says day one dashboard jab. And um, you notice, um, again, just some charts on, on it. Um, ideally, you would design a specific one um, with the right size for the window you want to embed on the page. So it doesn't have to be that long. But this is essentially what I'm trying to get is something like this. If I click on the account and I can see an embedded, um, uh, the, the embedded dashboard right here. So again, think about it that you do want to have it the proper size, but for simplicity, I'm going to show you what it is. And when you want to implement this, you design a specific one to embed, for example. And the key thing is here is the um, the filtering or the syntax that you want to need to connect the account page, this account, to this dashboard so that it filters properly. Um, so to do that, and I'm just going to let this uh, load, uh, probably is my connection um what do you want to do and lightning is very easy uh, and classic is very similar the syntax also is very similar um, what i am going to recommend is go to the main help page um, and you can go and look for embed and customize analytics embed dashboards everywhere for example embed dashboards and lightning pages and if you scroll down you see a sample syntax that we are going to use today so um, from the dashboard, you do want to know the data set that you are using. Um, again, so let's say this is my data set. You want to use the API name. Um, I usually use the label and API the same, no spaces. So I know this is the same as the API name. If you do not know what's exactly the data set name, note that you can take this data set name up on our account, go back and look for it. I probably have multiple of these. Um, uh, it's this one, the ACCNT. Oh, sorry, it's the account. Let me double check. Yep, it is the OUNT. And if I edit this one, I am going to see the API name right there. Okay, edit. It's right here, just a little bit slow. And this is the API name. So take note of this API name right here. All right, so how did I do this? Um, Enlighten, you go all the way up to the setup here, edit the page, and essentially you would be dragging a component, um, a wave dashboard component. Again, the old uh, name is here, but still it's the same. And that's what I did previously. Um, just to repeat that, what I'm going to do, just to minimize work for myself, um, I am going click on this component and this is the filter I was talking about I'm gonna copy this just to save it for later so again assume I am brand new I came to this page I am going to drag a component multix component drop it here um, it will probably upload the last open dashboard that I was working with for example, um, or maybe okay, this one, this is the one I want. And so far, it's easy. I can save, and that's the dashboard, but it does not connect. It's not filtering for Apple uh, 372. This is showing me all the data in, on the, in the data set. So what you can do is actually type the filter in. <clears throat> and again, I use the same syntax here. I put the data set, my data set name, um, the fields I'm connecting on, I chose the name uh, of the account. In my example, whatever the field name in the data set that I have and whatever matches the value to the dollar name, which is the account page, uh, sorry, the account on this page. So um, let me probably show you. Uh, I have a notepad right here. So this is the filter, and again, very simple, uh, similar. Uh, forget the spaces, but it's the data set name, the field in my data set that matches the account name, which is I'm passing the name. So this is 
the account name in my data set okay and I'm matching it to the name so simply I'll take this guy control copy put it in the filter and click outside to see if it updates and there you go it updated no syntax issues usually a lot of users have some syntax so just make sure you have a nice editor uh, you can use json editor online or just a notepad but be careful with the uh, quotation marks how they are you know sometimes in the uh, notepad they don't um, show correctly so and if i save this this is it this is my dashboard if i go back if you do not activate you need to activate maybe you know if it's a new page etc and i'll see my component right here um, embedded and the beauty of this is just it feels part of the uh, page i have you know does not necessarily feel as analytics um, you can hide these for example obviously um, if you go back to edit page you can choose some of these options For the component uh, once it loads and give it just a minute refresh again it's just a slow connection and you have options here to say uh, uncheck show title and check show header for example and if you want to open links in new windows or not from the dashboard itself um, also you can hide an error if any of course um, you need uh, you, you need to be able to see this um, um, so you can set component visibility also uh, component visibility is uh, again related to lightning so maybe you want to set up a filter on a certain field here maybe certain region maybe certain um, uh, status etc it is helpful if you want to um, maybe show multiple components so it could have two components for example of the dashboard um, you know one component here and um, so you can drag another component from here um, so I just dragged one on top of the page or it could have been somewhere else um, so you can set the each component visibility depending on you know what what filter what criteria you want or just hide the first one even if the users can still see it or have the you know option to see it um, this is pretty much it from the embedding uh, one last thing to maybe mention is if you have multiple data sets is very similar just remember uh, after the square bracket uh, the square bracket right here you will put a comma and then you will put the other um, the other data set and the fields so you have that option to to again embed the dashboard with multiple data sets if you want to pass the filter to, to the widgets based on both data sets so thanks for watching again this is out of summer 18 i hope this is helpful and i definitely encourage uh, you, uh, customers to use embedding because again the way it's uh, done is very easy uh, you can put it on the pages and users can see the beauty of it is used uh, not just analytics and trends but even probably or maybe external data right there on their Salesforce page.